Hey guys, today I'm going to be going over the AMZ Scout Pro web app. So the AMZ Scout web app is going to be a way that you're going to be able to find profitable products to resell on Amazon. And with that being said, you're going to be able to search in specific niches and you can also search based on keywords and you can also search based on categories. So there's lots of different things that you can do with this web app and let's get right into it. So if you don't already have the web app, then make sure you click the link in the description below. It'll be the first link in the description below where you can get signed up for the web app to help you to grow your Amazon FBA business. So what we do to get to the web app, we go to the top here and click web app. And then once you've signed up or press try for free, then you can click find product. So this was the search that I ran earlier was for oven mitts. So what we did is typed in oven mitts here and then press search. And that takes us to all the oven mitts on Amazon FBA. And then you can also pick based on any of these marketplaces. I went the US and that is what I do recommend for private label products because it's the largest marketplace and it's where you're going to have the best opportunity. And that's the beauty of ordering private label products is that you can order them from China and have them shipped directly to a prep center in the United States, or you can have your um, supplier in China. You can have them prep it for you right in China and have them ship it directly to your Amazon FBA warehouse, which is what I would recommend you do. Set that up with your supplier, and if you're going through a well-known supplier, they're going to know how to do this, so that's a good way to do it. And so then I searched up oven mitts, and then it brought up all this. And the thing I like about the AMZ Scout web app is there's so much customization that you can do. You can see what's going to have the most sales. That's what I sorted by. You can see what's going to have the most revenue per month, and these are monthly numbers. So as we can see, this first one, the silicone oven mitts, it sells 8688 per month. That is insane. And with that being said, they are selling it for 1497 and then they are getting a net of 783. So this gives you all of those different numbers that you need to know prior to going into sourcing an item like this. And say they're sourcing these for $2, even $3, they're still making four or five dollars per unit. Well, if you're selling almost 9,000 units at four dollars profit each, that's 36,000 a month. So we're talking 400,000 a year just from one product. Now, obviously they've had this item since uh, July of 2017. So they've been doing this for a while. It's not like it's a brand new product and they're an established product and we can see they have 3,000 reviews. So this is going to be a tough seller to compete against because of just all the reviews and they have a really good rating. So, and then it also gives the listing quality score. So they have a listing quality score of 94. So that is really good as well. So this may not be a profitable product to go into because it's going to be difficult to get your product up above someone with 3000 reviews. So, this is the beauty of it though, is if you figure out something that you think you want to sell, then you just type it into this web app and it will bring up all of these different results. And then you can look at any of them. Say this one, for example, this one's selling for $7.99 and they're selling almost $4,000 a month. So they would have to be sourcing these for like a dollar, but even if they're making $2 per unit, that's still $8,000 a month. So you just have to remember that with private labeling, you can make a lot of money, but you do have to remember that there is some risk involved. So you want to make sure that you're using a, so a software or a web app like AMZ Scout because it's going to help you to pick profitable products and not pick products that are going to, you're going to purchase and then never sell. So that's where you need something like this. that's going to help you make this kind of decision. And when you're looking at these kind of numbers, you know that oven mitts is not going to be something that's going to be smart to source. Even though this person's making all this money, they are going to be too tough to compete with and I would not go into this specific niche. But that's where, what if I wouldn't have saw this all this de these details 
and I would have went and bought a thousand oven mitts for five dollars each, for example. Then that's five thousand dollars that I likely would have lost. And that's the thing with private label products is you can't just go resell them on like Craigslist or something if they don't sell. So that's where you're going to be stuck with that inventory if you don't use something like this. So it could be a costly mistake. And that's the thing with AMZ Scout is this is a very reasonably priced at web app. So then you can get started and check which products you want to source rather than buying something that's not going to sell and then being stuck with a bunch of inventory that's not going to sell. The next thing that we can do is we can add a filter. So we can get rid of this and then add a filter. So basically what we can do is we can pick which categories we want to source in. So let's say we want to do office products, toys and game, no we'll go tools and home, sports and outdoor, baby, uh, cell phones and accessories. Just pick a few. You can pick any of these, literally. It's it's totally up to you. The only thing is with, I don't I don't pick toys and games because there's already so many uh, toys out there and so many um, different regulations that you require with toys that I would just kind of stay away from it. And then we want to go with standard products. You can go with oversized, but it's going to cost a lot more to ship. And if you're buying from China, you're going to likely have to purchase a significant quantity. So just keep that in mind. That could really eat up your bottom line. And then for seller type, we don't want anything that Amazon selling. We can go FBA and then we can go merchant. So then we can see, because with the Amazon FBA program, the customers get access to the Prime program. And if they're signed up on Amazon Prime, then they can get free two-day shipping. Whereas we want to also click merchant because we can compete with those merchant sellers. Anyone who's doing merchant fulfilled, we can still compete with them and see if they are going to make sense to compete against. So then we go up here and we can pick our properties. So the first property is price. I want to have something that's at least $15 and as high as $75. This is just my personal preference. You can do, you can change these numbers up how you please. Um, for the estimated sales, I want to have at least, let's say at least 100 monthly sales, and then we can leave revenue blank. And for reviews, let's say we want a maximum of 100. So if someone has like 3,000, like we saw with oven mitts, then that's not necessarily going to be something that we want to compete against. So that's why we're going to go with reviews that are max 100. So then it's still something that we could definitely compete against in the long run. So then for this would be for rating. If we wanted to see what a product was getting rated based on the reviews that they're getting. So I'm just going to leave that blank. We can go with max of, let's go max of five pounds. And that's good from there. So then we'll move this over and we will click apply filter. And that's going to bring up anything within the search parameters that I just gave. So we can see that the very first thing that comes up based on the most sales is a Yeti Rambler. And as many of you may or may not know, Yeti is a massive brand, so they're gonna be very difficult to compete against. They are like in a bunch of stores and stuff like that. But they're doing $1.9 million in revenue from this cup. And that's pretty insane. But we have to understand that they are a big company. They're not just some little private label startup. They, they're a massive company. So that's something to keep in mind. So what we can do, we can just go down. The surprising thing with this is it only has 60 reviews. For that kind of revenue, that's pretty insane. Um, we can also sort by like listing qual quality score or we can list sort by the rating. So we can do like, okay, what's rated really low? But basically this web app can give you some really good ideas of which products are going to make sense to sell. And you can change your search parameters based on the filters that you put in and you can really pinpoint which product you want to source and which product is going to be profitable and make sense for you to sell. The other thing is you can, if you click on this, it'll take you right to amazon.com to their listing and you can look and compare and see if you could beat out what they do have. So 
this web app is very valuable if you're looking to get into private label or you're looking to find profitable products to resell on Amazon that you're going to be sourcing and putting your own label on and making your own listing with, then this web app can really, really help you. I also made a video about the AMZ Scope Chrome extension for Google Chrome. And I will put a link in the description below to that. If you have not already checked that out, make sure you check it out because the Chrome extension is awesome as well. And we're just going to go back to end this off. We're just going to go back to the website and I will show you the costs of the web app. So let me scroll down. We can see the web app has the basic, the start, or the business plan. The difference between these is how many products you can actually track. And that's something that's very also very helpful with this web app is the fact that you can track products. So then you can go and pick 20 products or 40 products per month and then go through them at the end, figure out which one is going to be the best, best fit for you, which one's going to make you the most money and which one's going to sell the quickest. So we can see with the basic plan, you get 20. With the start plan, you get 40. And with the business plan, you get 80. I think if you're just starting out, it's best to just go with the basic plan. But if you really want to get the best value, I would say go for the start plan. Just because it's going to allow you to check 40 products and track them so that you can go over them and figure out which one is going to be the best fit for you. And if you're really looking to ramp up your business, then you can go with the business plan, which will allow you to track 80 products, which is great as well. So... The nice thing with any of their subscriptions is that it gives you access to all of these things and that's where the web app is great because even if you go with the basic plan you still have access to everything you just can only track 20 products but that's fine and then you can also do the monthly or yearly membership if you could afford it i recommend going for the yearly membership but it's totally up to you based on what your personal needs are and whether you're going to need it for long term or if you're just going to need it for a few months like I said, there's going to be a link in the description below where you can get signed up on AMZ Scout, the web app, and then, like I said, there will also be the description, the link in the description below where you can check out my other AMZ Scout video. Thanks so much for watching this, guys, and don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more.